Good evening, families. My name is Jessica Sanders, and I teach third grade at Ebenezer Avenue Elementary School. Um, this evening, I really wanted to um, pick a story that I read to my class the other day, and they really enjoyed it. Um, and it's by a Hispanic author in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, which is from September 15th to October 15th. Um, and since my kids enjoyed it, I really thought it'd be great for you guys to hear it. And it's called Abuela by Author Duros. Abuela takes me on the bus. We go all around the city. Abuela is my grandma. She is my mother's mother. Abuela means grandma in Spanish. Abuela speaks mostly Spanish because that's what people spoke where she grew up. Before she came to this country, Abuela and I are always going places. Today, we're going to the park. El parque es lindo, says Abuela. I know what she means. I think the park's beautiful, too. Tantos pajaros. Abuela says, as a flock of birds surround us. So many birds. They're picking up the bread we brought. What if they picked me up and carried me high above the park? What if I could fly? Abuela would wonder where I was. Swooping like a bird, I'd call to her. Then she'd see me flying. Rosalaba, the bird. Rosalaba es parque, she'd say. Ven, abuela, come, abuela, I'd say. Si quiero volar, abuela would reply as she leaped into the sky with her skirt flapping in the wind. We'd fly all around the city. Mira, abuela would say, pointing. And I'd look as we soared over parks and streets, dogs and people. We'd wave to the people waiting for the bus. Buenos dias, we'd say. Buenos dias, good morning, they'd call up to us. We'd fly over factories and trains and glide close to the sea. Cerca de mar, we'd say. We'd almost touch the tops of the waves. Abuela's skirt would, would be a sail. We could race with the sailboats. I bet she would win. We fly to where the ships are docked and watch people unload fruits from the land where Abuela grew up. Mangoes, bananas, papayas, those are all Spanish words. So are rodeo, patio, and burro. Maybe we'd see a cousin of Abuela's hooking boxes of fruit to the crane. We saw her cousin Daniel once unloading and loading the ships. Out past the boats in the harbor, we see the Statue of Liberty. Me gusta, Abuela would say. Abuela really likes her. I do too. We would circle around Liberty's head and wave to the people visiting her. That re would remind Abuela of when she first came to this country. Vamos a aeropuerto, she'd say. She'd take me to the airport where the plane that first brought her landed. See you, Dada, Abuela would tell me. We'd have to be careful as we went for a short ride. Then we could fly to Tio Pablo's and Tia Elisa's store. Pablo is my uncle, my tío, and Elisa is my aunt, my tía. They'd be surprised when we flew in, but they, they'd offer us cool limo ala. Flying is hot work, pero quiero volar más, Abuela would say. She wants to fly more. I want to fly more too. We could fly the Las Nubes, the clouds. 
One looks like a cat, un gato. One looks like a bear, un oso. One looks like a chair, una silla. De descansemos un momento, abuela would say. She'd want to rest for a, mem a moment. She would rest, we would rest in our chair and abuela would hold me in her arms with the whole sky, our house, nuestra casa. We'd be as high as airplanes, balloons and birds and higher than the tall buildings downtown. But we fly there too to look around. We could find the building where my father works. Hola, Papa, I'd say as I wave. And Abuela would do a flip for fun as we passed by the window. Mira, I'd hear Abuela say. Look, she's telling me. I do look, and we're back in the park. We are walking by the lake. Abuela probably wants to go for a boat ride. Vamos a otra aventura, she says. She wants us to go for another adventure. That's just one of the things I love about Abuela. She likes adventures. Abuela takes my hand. Vamos, she says, let's go the end. Thank you guys for joining me. Buenas noches.